Hi everybody, welcome back to Honestly KDP. My name is Laura and today I wanted to start part one of my um, puzzle book series with just a simple, um, how to make a simple dot to dot in Canva. I know that um, like technology has been improving. Things are easier to do now even than they were last year when I started trying to figure out in Inkscape how to use the nodes to make dot to dots and everything is made so easy now um, just directly in Canva. So I did download this. I got this from Creative Fabrica. Um, you can just search digital stamps. It'll give you these outline images. Um, and then I'm just going to um, quickly upload them into Canva. Here I just opened the U.S. letter size 8.5 by 11. That's what most activity books are, though you can make them any size you want. And then I'm just going to start with this egg just to make it simple for this demonstration. So what you would do, I would just make put it up in the corner and make a copy um, so you have a reference image. And then here I'm just going to choose a dot and then you make it black um, because most likely your book's just going to be in black and white. Um, you can make it however large you want. Um, I would say it probably just depends on what age group you're targeting, whether you want the dots to be bigger or smaller. And then just place the dots all around here every so often. And then like for a more complex image, I would say, you know, most people only, you know, do the dot to dot on part of the image so that they're Part of the image is complete and then the children are just adding the dots for the remainder of the image. Um, again, how many you do is going to depend on the age group. Some, you know, younger children that are going to do this type of um, dot to dot are probably young and can only count up to 10. Um, with the more complicated images like the bunny rabbits and stuff, you can do maybe like 1 to 25. Um, just very look um, at, at what's selling and do maybe a couple for each age group. Um, once you have this, you're going to add the numbers. So here, and you just put a number here. I'll start with number 10 and then make it, um, again, depending on the age group, I'll just make it uh, 12. Actually, I'll make it a 14 for right now. It's hard to see. And copy it. They space it all out and then and then enter the numbers. All right, so once you have all of those created, all you have to do, and this is so easy, is you just go to Okay, and this is new. They have it right under text, draw. It took me a minute to find it. Um, and then you would just choose the marker. And then choose white. And then you can change the size of your brush. And then just start uh, right at your dot. Go around and just end right at that dot. And then you're going to go to position and you're going to move that. Um, this is a new, one of the new Canva features here. Just put it right below the dots, but above the image. And there you go. Um, here, instead of, you can arrange it back and forward here, or they have layers now where you can adjust the layers. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, I thought I started closer to this dot, but yeah, you can just make sure that it goes there. 
um, really simple to make these dot to dot and then you can include these either you can make a whole dot to dot book or you can create a children's activity book you know I did create one book that was just dot to dot and I didn't sell any of them I don't think but I did create um, one sort of niche like holiday activity book that included some dot to dots and I do make some sales of that one it's not a huge amount but um, it does make some sales uh, so um, anyway I would, that's kind of what I would recommend I'm going to show how to do some more activities as well um, just a well-rounded activity book and that is it for today thank you for watching um, as always and have a great day